Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Mellow Yellow. D. G. D. A. G. G7. A. To A7. That's, that's a really simple way to play, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you more complicated than what they're actually doing in the band uh, in a little later. But that's the most, that's a simple way to do it. And it seems like these simple videos really uh, do well. So, uh, a lot of beginners out there. So let's do the simple way first. Uh, you got a D chord, uh, third string and first string second fret, second string third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string. That's my D, the G chord. You can do any G chord you want. Uh, I'm going to do 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string and 1st string, 3rd fret. That's a G. You could do an A chord, 4th uh, string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret. Uh, you're going to need a G7, 1st string, 1st fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 6th uh, string, 3rd fret. You're going to need an A7, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret. It's an A7. Do you need anything else? So for the simple way of playing it, that's all you need. Okay? So what I'm doing is it's in 4-4 four, four time. I'm going to go down, 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 up. That's my strum pattern, for, strum pattern for most of the song. Not all of it. So down, 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 up. You do the same thing. So that was a D chord. Then you do the same thing on a G. It's the same thing. A is the same thing. G, same thing. G7. A. To A7. D. And then here's where it changes. We're going to do a G chord and we're going to go down, down, up. And then an A, down, down, up. So same thing. So it sounds like G to A. Oops, sorry, I played A7 by accident. G to A and then D for the whole pattern. G to A is short again, and then D. And then this G right here near the end of the uh, progression is a short one. So it's down, down, down. Then you go to A7, and this one gets two patterns. So it's like down, 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 down. And again, we'll show you more complicated ways. All right. So let me, uh, let's see, let me run through that one more time the simple way. simple way to play mellow yellow. All right, now let's uh, let me show you how I play it. I'm going to add some things in. I, I I'm sure I'm not playing it like they are, um, but uh, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to play it my own way. So uh, my chords are going to be a little different. I'm going to throw in some of those half step type things. So uh, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll play the D chord the same way. my G chord like this because I can get more of a percussive attack on it. Uh, second string, third fret, fourth string, uh, sorry, third string, fourth fret, fourth string, fifth fret. I'm going to wrap my thumb around and grab the sixth string, third fret. I like that G chord. Back to the D. Alright, and now I'm going to go to an A chord. I'm just going to move that same shape up to the 5th fret that I did before. So 2nd string 5th, 3rd string 6th, 4th string 7th. My thumb grabs the 6th string 5th fret. I'm going to mute the 5th and the 1st strings. So 
So that really mimics what they're doing in the band. Uh, I'm sure they're using the big bulky chords. I just don't, I don't dig the sound. I like to thin it out. So just me. So my A chord at the fifth fret, my strum pad is going to be a little different. It's going to be down, 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 up. And then I'm going to move it to the fourth fret and do it down, up. And then go to the third fret and do the full pad. Down, 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 up. So it's like. Okay. So again, the A chord is the fifth fret. The A flat chord is the fourth fret. So what that is is the second string fourth, third string fifth, fourth string six, and then my thumb wraps around to the sixth string fourth fret. Again, got to mute those those strings, the first and the fifth, and then I just move it back to the third fret, and that's the G chord that we already went over earlier. Okay. All right, and uh, let's see, in my more complicated version, you do need a G7 chord. I do, I'm do. i going to do the big bar chord that they're probably playing in the actual song. I'm going to bar the whole 3rd fret, 3rd string, 4th uh, fret, 5th string, 5th fret. That'll be my G7. I'm going to go back to a regular A chord, regular A7 that we've already used earlier. Uh, let's see. say A7 and do that triplet pattern, I fall apart. All right, uh, so let's, well, we can work kind of backwards here. That last part, the A7, what I'm doing is down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And I do that eight times. So it's got to be down, up, down. It's like a triplet. Triplet, strawberry, blueberry, <laughs> gooseberry. So whatever berry you like, that's a triplet. Triplet, strawberry. So, it's very difficult, so don't feel bad if it gives you a hard time. And then to be able to do it fast, that takes some practice and it's going to come up in other songs. Uh, it comes up a lot and you've got to be able to just shift right into it. So, uh, this is a great song for that. Uh, practice wise. Alright, so let's see, what should we go over? Uh, let's go over this one a little bit more in depth. Uh, the D chord is the same string, strum pattern that we've been doing. I'll slow it down G, same thing. D's the same thing. And then when I get to the A, I'm going to do that short strum like down, 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 up. So it's the only time that happens. Down, 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 up. Down up on the A flat and then a full pattern on the G. Full pattern on the G7. A to the A7. G. And then this is where the G and the A share a measure. So I'm just going to go down, down, up, down, down, up. You can do down, down, up, down, down, up. You can take my easy version and my way and the next one that I'm going to show you and you can mix them all up and do whatever you want. And then you D again, and then G to A is short again, and then D. This G is short, and then you go to the triple, triple, triple. Okay? And that's Mellow Yellow. 
All right, um, what I think they're actually playing in the band, I'll give you that. Um, I just don't dig these chords as much, but uh, the D chord, they're probably playing like this. And the G chord's like this. The G, the A. D chord, or their D chord that I think they're playing is 5th string 5th fret, and then they bar 4, 3, and 2 at the 7th fret, muting the 6 in the 1st string, like that. Their G chord, they're brought, barring the whole 3rd fret, 3rd string 4th fret, 5th string and 4th string at the 5th fret. Uh, their A chord, just move it to the 5th fret. So you're barring the 5th, 3rd uh, string 6, 5th and 4th string at the 7th. Your A flat's just a half step back. You're barring the fourth, third string, uh, fifth fret, fifth and fourth string at the sixth fret, then back to that G. Then just lift up your pinky, you got a G7. Back to the A. Lift up your pinky, you got an A7. Okay? And then you got the D chord again, and then the G to the A. seven that's my little yellow okay uh, those are all bar chords so it turns into the whole thing's a bar chord and um, you know when you're playing on gigs and stuff you don't need to do bar chords for like two three hours you know so I like to change it up I don't really like the sound either um, of some some of them I like to thin them out so it's just me I don't own a 12 string guitar I just don't dig it so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please hit like if you like it, and uh, please subscribe and play more guitar.